Robert, midway through NBAA 2014, or it feels like a lot longer than it's been at this stage of the game, a number of exciting announcements here. They're not so much on the airframe side, but avionics, let's face it, it's the lifeblood of the industry, and more important than anything else, it's where all the progress is being made. And in many cases, we find Universal leading the charge. Tell me about the Insight announcement. Why now this flight deck? Well, we have been working on the uh, next our next generation flight deck for uh, some time, and uh, as you just said, you know, uh, avionics technology changes so drastically. We needed to step up our game, and doing that, we recognized the needs and the wants of our users out there. As you all know, our chairman and president flies a challenger and we have a lot of other pilots in our organization that give us a lot of input for this new technology. We'll highlight some of the key benefits that we wanted to introduce with this new system is a more integrated system. So we've integrated our next generation synthetic vision, charting which includes airport maps, runways, three arc second data which is a very high resolution database and a centralized method of controlling the system through an electronic CDU. What does Insight bring to the mix that distinguishes it from competitive product lines or what you've developed in the past? Again, it's highly integrated, which I know there's other systems out there that are integrated, but what it has brought to, to our customers is a more scalable solution. And we still wanted to maintain a balance of bringing a highly integrated architecture, which eliminates quite a few LRUs and weight, but at the same time, we want to be able to take advantage of the existing systems that they've already invested in their aircraft, so that's a significant effort on our part. How do you see the market for this product? Is this going to be aimed toward OEM? or retrofit? Initially retrofit, but we are looking at OEMs as well. And again, it's very scalable for both markets. Our initial STC airframe is a Citation 7, so we're looking at those markets mid-cabin. But we're also looking at Hawker 800s, Challengers, Gulfstreams, etc. One of the other things I wanted to touch on that we're introducing is Insight Connect, and that's a wireless connectivity where you can load flight plans offline and then come into the cockpit and wirelessly transmit them to the EFIS and FMS via wireless technology on an iPad through third-party apps such as Jet Flight View, ForeFlight, and others. And to further add to your question about where we're taking this in the future is the new product called Insight Control, where we can actually control the cockpit from that device. For somebody looking at a potential retrofit, what kind of uh, installation time and costs are we looking at, and more important, availability down the line? The initial cost of the system, you can get into a package starting at about 250000 Robert Clare on the floor of the MBAA 2014 trade show and convention. We thank you much for your time and looking forward somewhere down the line to flying this thing. You've got to give me a call. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by Meet Sam, the new 2-inch standby attitude module from Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics. Sam's unique two-screen display features high-definition graphics and extra-wide viewing angles. Get to know Sam today. Visit flysam.com.